hello friends welcome back to my channel infinite trade so let's do our nifty and bank nifty analysis for tomorrow and also tomorrow it is going to be the expiry day for nifty and bank nifty so let's see uh, what are the important levels that we need to watch for in nifty as well as in bank nifty so before we just begin uh, i just wanted to inform you that I know yesterday we had discussed that if you get a bank nifty at 40,000 on the first time, you can definitely buy a put if you see a red candle and that has given a beautiful down move, though it was not quite big. And also I had told you that, you know, this particular high, this is an important level. And if you get bank nifty here, you can definitely buy a call option. So it took a reversal just before that and again it went up till uh, close to 40,100 and then uh, even I had told you that 40,000 is going to be an important resistance for this particular expiry and that is still uh, you know it is still valid because the closing is below 40,000 and when it was trading around 40,100 we saw a big red candle that came down so that means there is some selling pressure at the top and this is going to be an important resistance for tomorrow. Okay, so let's begin our analysis for Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow. So first of all, we'll just check the participant wise open interest. Okay, so the data is totally opposite to what we saw yesterday. Yesterday we had seen that they had bought uh, huge call options, but today it is totally opposite. We have uh, most of the things are on the bearish side. Okay, you may hear some uh, crackers noise in the background. I'm extremely sorry for that, but I can't help it. So the first thing is, uh, if we look at FIS position, there is about sixteen thousand seven hundred future short. So that means which indicates bearishness. Uh, they also have twenty five thousand eight hundred call short, and they also have around seventeen thousand put buy. So, which means they are extremely on the bearish side, okay? So, FIS positions are extremely on the bearish side. So, this is a summary that we are looking at. And then we have Prodesk. They have about 5,700 future short, uh, 1 lakh 14,000 call sell, which is a huge number. And put, they have sold it around 4,197. So, this is completely something which we can avoid. But when we see call sell numbers are more than, uh, you know, put long, that means they are bearish, but they are not expecting a huge momentum downside. However, FIs have some put buys, so there could be some sort of momentum, uh, but it may not be that big. So that's what we can understand from the summary. Now, just let's quickly check what is on the left hand side. So, FIs have closed around 12,500 future contracts. So, definitely the market, uh, especially Bank Nifty, it went a little upside. And Nifty also, it opened right at the resistance, which was 18,000. We discussed this yesterday, that 18,000 is going to be a crucial uh, resistance for this expiry. So, they might have booked uh, some long positions and they have created short positions, which is definitely on the bearish side similarly if we look at prodesk they have closed around 7400 contracts of futures and they have also closed shorts that means fis uh, are a little confused with the future positions but however they are still holding uh, short positions more which we could check it on the summary now if we look at call options so FIs have about 14,000 long call created and 40,000 short call created, which again shows that it is on the bearish side. Similarly, if we look at uh, Prodesk, they have about just about 1,246 call option long and 1,15,000 call short. So again, a bearishness. Now, if you look at put side, FIs have about 21,000 
output long that they have created and against it they have just created about 4330 uh, short puts and pros have closed long puts and they have also closed short puts so overall the summary is something which we have to look at because it, because it compares a couple of days uh, earlier data also so which gives us a clarity that you know out of total long positions how many they are holding and out of total short positions how many they are holding so that's the idea that we get from the participant wise open interest and the data absolutely looks bearish and bank nifty was confusing today because it was trying to hold the upper level uh, as if it uh, has a plan of breaking the 40000 resistance uh, maybe by tomorrow but we'll just check what does the option chain says and also we'll look at the uh, chart to understand what could be the price action that we can expect so now let's look at the option chain okay let's look at it, uh, the option chain from opstra so that i can show you nifty and bank nifty both so if we look at nifty put writing uh, has happened today okay but uh, they are far off and they are not significant but call writing has happened tremendously so starting from 17900 until 18000 so 18000 still is a very strong resistance so looks difficult to break at least in this expiry now let's look at uh, bank nifty so if we look at bank nifty put writers uh, whoever did that they had some conviction that bank nifty uh, looks stronger than nifty so put writing has happened here however call writing was also uh, done significantly and 40000 stands to be a very strong resistance as of now so in both the cases if you look at the overall open interest and also the change in open interest uh, Put writing is not that significant. Uh, that means put writers are not that confident and call writing is significant, which means call writers were confident in selling the call options. So this is the overall summary from the data and the option chain. Now let's look at the chart. So first we'll check Bank Nifty. So if you see, uh, you can also mark this on your chart. So Bank Nifty is following a particular trend line. So it has taken quite a lot of support at this trend line and we have just closed on the trend line so it looks like there is a possibility of breaking this so if we break this trend line our immediate target would be this place okay so this should be a target which is around 39600 and immediately we have a resistance of 40100 so if bank nifty has to be bullish there is only one possibility that bank nifty has to open above this place so it should open above 40100 and it should sustain there at least for 15 minutes and then possibly there is a chance that it may not come down or it may just take a support here or it may take a support at the previous day high and continue higher and it may trade within this range but this looking at the data this looks difficult and only a gap up can help bank nifty sustain on the upside and if we open flat so one more thing tomorrow's day is going to be a difficult day for option buyers because bank nifty is trading in a range so what we can do is once if we open flat and immediately we break this particular trend line we can expect a target of this so our entry should be somewhere around 39,850. Okay. So let's consider that our entry would be somewhere around 39,850 and your target would be 39,600. And uh, so if you're buying an option, buying a put option, go for next week, not the current week. And there is another possibility that may happen. So Bank Nifty at the end, it was trying to take support at this place which is around 39800 so if you think that bank nifty has opened flat and it is not breaking 39800 
or 850 and it is trying to trade within this range then nothing all the option buyers just have to sit and relax you know in the second half like after 12 30 or 1 pm if you see bank nifty either breaking down or breaking upside you can definitely go for an option buying uh, strategy that would definitely give a very good momentum and otherwise if it comes down uh, you know it may come down until this place and it can trade sideways something like this since the data is bearish there is also a possibility of breaking of this level and i would be much uh, happier if this level breaks in the afternoon this will also give you an entry at this place and your immediate target would be around 39 300 so 300 points quick fall can happen so this is my view for bank nifty and uh, let's check out nifty So Nifty, as we know, 18,000 stands to be a strong resistance and mark this trend line also. So in case if we open flat and if you see, uh, if we are breaking this trend line and closing above 17,950, then you can go for a call by that to next week call and your immediate target should be somewhere around 18,000 to 18,030. This should be a target. And this support has acted as a very good support today. And this also looks like a triangle pattern. So if we open flat and if we, if you see immediately, uh, you know, Nifty, if it is breaking this, this level is 18,000, sorry, 17,875. So if you see that it is closing below this level, definitely you can go for a put buy and your immediate target should be around this place so what is this level let's quickly check that it is around 17,740 so a good move on the downside we can and since it is an expiry day we may probably see nifty moving within this range the entire day there is a possibility so this should be a plan and again uh, if we have to consider any gap up, the gap up should be above 17,950 and it should sustain the gap up at least for 15 minutes. And then if it takes a dip here and then if it again comes back up, then definitely you can go for a call by your immediate target should be the same. Okay. So again in Nifty, suppose, you know, if it stays within this range for the first half, this is a very small range from 950 to 890, just about 60 points. So if in the first half, if it stays within this range, then definitely on the second half, if it breaks any side, you can definitely go for a call by or a put by on the downside. It can show a tremendous move. In this case, the target can be even higher. It can be around 18,100. And on the downside, uh, we'll keep the same target, 17,740. Since it is an option buying, I would not give a very big target because it's an expiry day. So I hope the plan is clear. Just keep in mind that things uh, or the data is completely bearish. So do not go for a bullish trade, at least in the first half. Okay. And always look for a shorting opportunity. Either you can buy a put or if you're a option seller, you can definitely go for a call seller. So I hope things are clear and uh, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Let's meet in another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye and wish you all a happy Diwali because uh, Thursday and Friday we have an off in the market. So we may not meet up, but I would just see if I could record any educational videos. I may come with a video or something like that. But if you're not meeting, so happy Diwali in advance. So take care. Bye-bye.